Paid Six, Marching Band Rag. This is some more ragtime music. So the system I use, first I look it over. It's two pages long. Clef signs are treble and bass clef. There's no sharps or flats in the key signature. We're still in the key of C major. Just make sure you can do the C major scales and probably maybe the arpeggios at least one octave up and down. And go ahead and do the A minor also. A minor has no sharps or flats. And I do my sharps or my scales and arpeggios according to key signature. So it's a, you get used to just playing in that key signature. You know which notes are in that key. A 4-4 four, four time signature. One hand at a time, make sure I know what the hands are doing, because if it's rag time, you know there's going to be a lot of syncopation. Rag came from the idea of ragged time, ragged, the rhythm was ragged, or it's a lot of syncopation, that's sort of what it's about. Right hand is here. So, one and two and three and rest and, it's okay. Now, let's go to measure five. One and two. Now, this rhythm again throws some people because of the tied note. It's not hard, but just in case. Take out the tie and play it. They're all just eighth notes. They're all just eighth notes. And once you get an idea of that, you put the tie in. You just hang on to the note rather than playing it again. That rhythm is all over the place. Measure nine. Remember the numbers in the boxes in the beginning of the lines? Those are measure numbers. Measure nine. And remember these accidentals. They're good for the rest of the measure. Watch out. Doesn't look like the right hand is moving at all. You're right in here. You just have a few black keys to deal with. Left hand, you're starting here. One, two, three, four, and then they want here and here. If your hand doesn't fit up in here, if your hands are really big and your fingers are fat and you can't get up here, then we have to do a three here or five. It's a, I'll leave that up to you on that to adjust for your hand. But the fingering, if your hands aren't too big, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's go over to measure 22. So these accidentals can mess things up. You have to watch it. It's here and then here. If you don't want up here, you can use a two. And then a two, and then a three. And then they want a, a, that flat sign is in front of the B, so it's a B flat C here. So it's a, And then it'd be natural, because it's in a different measure. I'm surprised they didn't give you a natural sign. Last two measures at the bottom. You're here, here, and then it's a five. Scratch up one five. So, so once I know what each hand is sort of doing, I attempt to put them together. And usually I hesitate all over. I don't care. I just want to know the fingers. One and then here, rest, and then here, rest. Two four here in the left. That's because we need the thumb for measure five. You can see they're playing at different times. The left hand's playing on the one, two, three, four. One and two and three. And again, if it, now the rhythm's getting off, you go, ah, we'll take out the tie again. But then, once you have it, put the tie in. Now be careful here. Going from measure five to six. The left hand, or the right hand, I'll measure five, at the last note is a C. The first note in the left hand in measure six is a C, it's the same key. They both need it. I would like to connect the melody. But because the left hand needs the note, I can't. So I gotta lift up a little bit. I gotta get off of it so the left hand can have it. 
just one of those things we have to deal with when playing piano. So I go through the whole thing and I put the hands together. And then, then I go back over and this is what takes the time. I get rid of the hesitations. That can take a while. I mean, I could spend a month or more getting rid of the hesitations. Whatever, I don't care. Then once I can do all of that, then I add the articulation. We have uh, accents as staccatos. Piano, we just play an accent a little louder. This left hand, nothing. Staccato. And you see in the half note there, uh, measure four, there's a little hat thing, little, that's called a marcato. That is a strong accent. The sideways arrows, those are accents. You just play them a little louder. The marcato one takes it up another notch. So this is like very loud here. Let the wrist collapse a little bit. Don't pound on it. And then uh, now you don't get an accent on measure five until the G. As far as the phrasing goes, you have to decide what do you think of the phrasing? Is it uh, the second line on page six? Is it every two measures? Lift up. So it's every two measures. If that's the case, you're lifting up. The left hand, I'm connecting it all the way through. So I lift up here, but not here. I'm lifting up in the right hand for the phrases, but I'm connecting the left hand. Now you do get some staccatos and things in the left hand, like a measure 20 here. Now, going from measure 20 to 21, I suggest you connect this, both hands, because these lead into, it just leads into it, and when it leads into it like that, I connect it. I'm not going to separate it. <laughs> no, connect it. So I did the articulation, and then I'll think about the dynamics. The, dy the dynamics apply to the melody, which is in the right hand in this case. So at the beginning, the MP, mezzo piano, sort of soft. That makes the accented notes sort of loud, because they're and the left hand's in the background. And you see the crescendo there. I mean, gradually get louder, we're going to go up all the way to loud. So you have to plan it out, because if you don't, you'll be loud by the second measure. So I think on these, each of these little motifs thing, each one I'm just going to play a little louder. So soft, now sort of soft, now sort of loud, now loud, actually it's very loud. And then measure five, it's moderately loud, this soft. Measure 20, you get a decrescendo to come back down here. So you're moderate, moderately soft, moderately loud, and then you get a crescendo. Well, you're only going to go up to loud. So again, like in the first line, you take it like a measure sort of time. This is measure 26. Back down to moderately loud. At the end, the last line, I measure 34. You're moderately loud here. The formata, fermata, excuse me, to hold that out a little longer, whatever feels right. If I do it with a metronome, I'll just double the value of the E. I'll play it for two counts instead of one because I got to stay with a metronome. But when you're just playing it, you just hold it. And then you go on. All tempo means go on. Going from moderately soft to a little louder, loud, and then back down. That is very soft. So experiment with these dynamics and getting louder and softer. You want to get to where you can actually just feel the dynamics. Where it feels like it should get a little louder and softer in places. Speed. Well, this moves pretty well. So I think about where I've been going is pretty close. So it doesn't have to be exactly a speed. 
It has to be accurate, so what can you do accurately? When you get to measure 34, you see a multiple RIT. That re RIT is short for retardando, which means slow down, gradually slow down. Multiple means a whole lot, so we're going to slow way down. So let's start at measure 33, you're here. Just slow down everything down, and then our tempo means take off again. Where, where we were. If I play with a metronome, I can't change speeds. I'm going to just stay with the metronome and go. Now don't copy me please, that's just one way of doing it. After a couple more cups of coffee I will play it quite different. I play by feel, it's however I feel it, so it depends on the time of day or how I'm feeling at the time. As to what speed I'll take or how loud I'm going to get or whatever. Now once you can play this with no hesitations and everything's okay there, then come back to the video to the play with me section and let's play it together very slowly. I put the starting point of the play with me sections in the description of pretty much every video so you can go right to it when you're ready even one hand at a time if you need to but let's check to make sure you have the correct notes and the correct rhythms I don't do lows and softs I'll try and do the accents although I'm, I typically forget I don't know. so I'll give us four quarter note counts to come in one two Ready and go and one and two the rest and rest and one, two and three and four and Rest. <laughs> 